Hi, I'm Sky Katz, and I'm hanging with J14. My favorite moment from shooting season four. You know what? It's sad. It was like really bittersweet, um, but I'll look at it from a glass half full perspective. Uh, the last scene that we filmed, it's so sad because that was like, you know, the end to, to such a long journey that was so like, it was so sentimental to me because I've spent like four plus years of my life working on that show with people I love and like just scenes I love and whatever. So yeah, the last scene was probably my favorite part because we were reminiscing about like, like all the scenes that came before and it was just a really emotional time. Uh, but you know that the end of one thing is the beginning to another. So now I have another journey ahead of me. It is so funny. Okay, just speaking from like, for me, I will cry at the most random things and not cry at the most like important things that should take out so much emotion and make you so upset. Like after filming a show like that after, for four plus years, you should be crying. Like that's totally normal. But I just was not, it, I was like, I was kind of smiling, not because it was over, but because it, it was it was such a great experience, you know? So it was, I was so happy that I had experienced it, but sad that I won't be experiencing it anymore. It was just a weird, weird feeling, <laughs> like a lot of mixed emotions. Oh, for sure, yeah, I saw them at the daytime Emmys. I saw Isaac and Navia the other day. So yeah, we'll, we'll cross paths um, plenty of times in the future. Just got back like a little over a month ago from uh, filming a Netflix show. So that should be super cool. Um, I'm not exactly sure of when the release date is. I have like a general sense, but I can't even share it. So I can't, can't give you much information. I could just tell you it's gonna be really cool and I'm so excited. I do, I have so much new music in the works and I wish I could just click a button and release it all, but everything's such a process, you know, you gotta make sure it's the greatest that, that you can make it, all the songs and you just want, you know, you know, I want to do it right. I think my fans deserve that and I want to represent myself well. And yeah, so everything, everything's in the works and it, it'll come soon. I'm just perfecting it. Bling of Vance, where do I start? Um, well, I'm completely obsessed with Bling of Vance. They're like the ultimate friendship bracelets and they're such a fun craft to do with friends. I actually did it with my sister and young cousin the other day and we just had a blast. What do I love most about friendship bracelets? Well, something cool about them is you can all be given the same amount of like beads and just opportunity to make like the same style and they can all just come out completely different, which is so cool. So they're super customizable to like be personal to you and your style and the colors and designs that you love. Oh yeah, yeah, I did tons of them and honestly this, this blingle bands are like my favorite ones that I've ever done, to be honest. They're they're just like, they're super easy to create and you don't need glue, so it's not all messy. You know, sometimes when you're trying to put together a craft, it ends up being like a huge mess, but you don't have to worry about that with blingle bands. Who of my friends would I give a bracelet to now? Well, after being apart for so long, like a whole year or so, um, I honestly would want to give them all something like a little a little gift of you know a reuniting gift. So I'd honestly all, all the friends that I haven't seen in so long, I'd want to give them a little something. Bye everyone! You can also celebrate National Friendship Day with us by using hashtag BlingleBands to share your friendship bracelets you create with your BFF. Hashtag BlingleBesties.